Good afternoon. Hey guys, Dan here. Story time, story time, story time. So a lot of people ask me, Dan, Sid tells his stories. Big Sid, big, big shout out to Bill, Big Sid, real person talk. True OG. Um, a shady person, but a true OG. So a lot of people say, Sid, um, Dan, <laughs> oh my gosh, when you're related to a scumbag. Um, so they say, Dan, what was some of the craziest prison stories when you were in prison? So I literally um, was in California. This was years ago. And this, I, don't, I think it was the same guy that Sid talked about that was in his Colorado prison. And I'm going to tell you why. So we're sitting there. This is when I ran the Jezebels. I had the keys to the yard. I kept the keys in a fanny pack because I was allowed to have a fanny pack in California. So literally, there was a rival gang that was going to be started. And we would always say, like, what's up, criminal? So this guy's a weirdo. He'll re remain unnamed. And he started a gang called the Criminals. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, serious. I know, Justin. It's actually pretty clever. But the point is this. He started a game called the Criminals, and they would get up there and be like, do boy, uh, boy band songs, and they'd be like, Criminal, it's the cream, cream, drop it down low, cream, cream, drop it down low, don't cream, Criminals, and stuff like that, and they do this thing with their hands. But here's the thing, in their hands, this is a toy plastic knife, but in their hands at the end, they do Criminal, they would have like um, a tomahawk for a buck fifty. Um, or to make sure that they had manscaped. Because in prison, I say this always, prison is not easy for a lot of people. Of course, I was a shot caller for the um, founding member, original gangster for the Jezebels, and we went to war with the criminals. But literally, prison was actually pretty fun. <laughs> so this guy in the criminals, um, he was trying to smuggle in some kind of weird, I don't know what it was. It was like over the counter, but it was, it was weird. Um, and he was smuggling in, like, orange juice and stuff like that. He was a big pill head. Um, but um, here's the thing. We would go to war with him on a consistent basis. And we had something. A lot of people say chain gang or green light. We had something called tit for tat. So, literally, if they jumped on one of us and it was just like a beat down. Mm, um, <laughs> not all war is um, not fun. All play and um, or all work and no. Justin, all work and no play? Or what is it? Huh? <laughs> bend over. No. So basically when someone would say, you have things like green light or to put a hit on someone, we had tit for tat. So you never, we had a rule. Don't ever jump a man when he gets out of the shower, before he gets in the shower, he's allowed to stay clean. Um, as a openly progressive gay man, you want to stay clean. Well, the criminals, they went against that and they were jumping dudes straight they were doing heart checks and booty hole checks. And they were doing this before man had handled his manscaping or taken a shower. And that's literally how we went to war. And there was bodies and booties dropping constantly. Okay, and the COs be like, they blow their whistle. This was at, I think, San Quentin or San, San Crotchin or San Quentin. Um, so big shout out to... Um, uh, what's his name? Um, it's called Hard Intentions. Big shout out to Smiley. Love you, Smiley. Mwah. Watch all your content. Um, but here's the thing. Literally, there was men, bodies dropping on each side. And it got to the point they had to bring in the National Guard. And I carried two blades in my fanny pack. Um, it was pink. <laughs> and so literally, so many people passed away in this war um, that they brought in the National Guard to clear it up. And literally, we put every single one, they, every one of the cream, criminals went in the hole. And me and the Jezebels still walk the main line as a man. And the rest of them cream sickle ca criminals. Hmm, I know, Justin. Um, you know what's on my mind. Um, but the re rest of us, we walk the line. And that's how the Jezebels have the most respect. And I think this guy who's um, named, he was in prison for, in California. Uh, for some kind of, like, insurance fraud um, for the elderly. I don't know. It's probably the same thing as Colorado. So, ever catch him slipping? Oop. <laughs> oh, Justin, I wasn't flirting. Trust me, I wasn't flirting. So, anyway, guys, just remember that just because they have a cool name for a gang doesn't mean they're not cowards. Cream sickles, it's on the spot. It's not a green light. It's a tit for tat. Resist.